Hello, I am Baron Dipitus, and uh, I just realized I need to keep me to adjust this every now and then. Uh, yes, I am Baron Dipitus, and I wanted to um, briefly show the uh, and talk talk a little bit about the uh, the uh, Roblox Roblox X Brawlhalla um, event um, really quickly because I think it's kind of cool. Um, it's not probably not as uh, I mean this was something that was announced at BCX right. Uh, uh, BCX 2023 and Brawlhalla in Roblox is kind of something kind of like it's kind of crazy right it's not Bra Brawlhalla this is not a crossover for Brawlhalla this is Brawlhalla crossing over into something else which is very interesting and so um, up until now I have entirely avoided Roblox entirely it's not that I don't like it necessarily it's more like I've never really had a reason like I already have Minecraft I already have so many other games and I just I just never really got into Roblox um, and so but I, I had to check this out um, there were lore there were a couple of lore accurate things in it so anyway I'm basically going um, I was able to I was able to finish the this event in like half an hour <laughs> it's a pretty short event but i think it is it is, it is kind of neat there, there are some neat things about it okay so let me um let me switch over to uh gamer mode here all right so here it is this is weapon fighting simulator all right um and i was a bit confused when i first got in here right uh, obviously I have, I have the default avatar in roblox i'm not i don't i don't really play roblox right you know you get it but so that's what i have um, I'll explain the so essentially how this game works is you go around and you see all of these you just see these creatures standing around and you basically just click on one and your weapons automatically attack them they drop things you pick up the and you you cast like you cast all the spells that you have and all the weapons that you cast automatically just sort of attack so you just click and attack and that's it that's that's literally it um, and then you you get stuff basically um all these things that you see here are things that i've gotten over the course of probably uh um probably about um i don't know two or three hours or so total um and yeah you can see there's a couple of things happening here um the five nights at freddy's crossover there's some kind of autumn event or something like that right um and then the basic gameplay the basic game loop is that you go into like that portal and you go into these various worlds and you fight monsters, you fight a boss, and once you beat that, you go to the next world, and so on and so forth, and you keep upgrading your weapons. Uh, what is this Brawlhalla event, though? Uh, so this is what it is. You have, um, you essentially have three different kinds of quests. Um, and they're very, so you have Mordex's quest, Hattori's quest, and Loki's quest. In order to get to Loki's quest, you need to complete the other two sections, right? Um, uh, no, I'm not doing, no. So, Mordex's quest is be online for 10 minutes and beat 30 enemies on this particular starting map, all right? And then once you do that, you complete those, you get um, you get the, his scythe, Kull. Uh, for Hattori, you get five spells from defeating enemies. Spells are, are drops from enemies, just like anything else. Uh, and you open 20 stones, which is sort of the gotcha mechanic here. Uh, stones are basically things that you do to uh, sort of like roll... Um, roll your weapons um, kind of like this that that's what this is you you spend you spend uh, these blue stones to roll to get these things and you basically get all these weapons all right um, so if you complete more Dexter's quest you get cull if you get complete Hattori's quest you get katana and if you and if after all after you do all of that you beat the Loki the boss Loki you get the Asgardian spear and those are the three weapons that you can see oh dear and it crashed. That's a great start. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess give me a second here. Okay. And we're back. Not sure what happened there. Um, but essentially, once so and that's pretty much it. It takes like at most maybe like half an hour or so to. Um, if that, maybe more like 15 minutes. So it's not a lot. And you can see the three weapons here. Um, you see Mordex's scythe. You see Hattori's uh, sword and the Asgardian spear. Right? Um, however, the, cool, the, the, thing I, the thing I really like about this is the fact that there's this whole Brawlhalla section right here just kind of added on. All right? 
Um, and it is this is Demon Island. Like if you look in the background of the Demon Island map in the game, that's what this is. This is with the floating islands and the big dragon rock skull thing and whatever. Um, you'll notice this game has a very, very like, you know, Chinese mythology kind of like inspiration to it with the music and with the, the kinds of like weapons and creatures and things like that. Uh, but honestly, like, I think the coolest part of this crossover is this right here. You, you get to walk in and to this sort of demon island space and you get to see these 3D, you get to sort of like see these 3D models of, okay. You get to see these 3D models of uh, Hattori and Mordex um, right here. And when you walk up to them, it just kind of shows you what Hattori's quests are and like what Mordex's quests are, right? But they, they're just kind of like, they're just kind of chilling and like waving at you and everything. And I think that's really cool, uh, honestly. Uh, yeah, so there's Mordax, then there's there's Hattori. Um, she is not smiling. Uh, <laughs> Hattori is pretty much always angry. Um, but she's waving anyway. Uh, just sort of like, hello, hey everybody. Um, now for the Loki boss, what I'm going to do is... Um, one thing I found, thought was interesting is that... So, like again, I, I played this game for a little bit, and I, did, I was able to get a bunch of these things. Um, but what I'm going to what I'm gonna do, and he also gets spells and whatever... What I'm going to do is I'm going to unequip every, everything that is not from the Brawlhalla event. There are no spells exclusive to the Brawlhalla event. I'm just going to have these weapons. They're also like little pets and whatever. Uh, I'm not going to do anything. I haven't, you know, I'm just going to use the Brawlhalla weapons uh, in this uh, in this Loki fight here. Okay. You can wait for other players. But uh, yeah, so in a boss fight, just like any other monster, they just stand there until you click on them, until you attack. Um, so this is the man himself. This is Loki. Um, honestly, it's kind of cool to see this sort of like this sort of Roblox interpretation of Loki, right? Got the designs, got the, got the, uh, the THNX symbol on, on his cape. You got the snake eyes on his cape. You got the chains. You got the, you know, you got the, the green arm along with the normal arm, uh, the shadow over his eyes. They, they have all the details, right? Um, I think it's kind of cool. Um, Anyway, uh, I, I did, uh, as, you, as you can see, I, I did beat this guy once. And obviously, I can probably beat him faster if I had everything. But I'm only using the Brawlhalla weapon. So let's see how this goes. That was fast. <laughs> Dang it. I was hoping to... Uh, and you can, you can also open a boss chest with a boss key to get some stuff. That was very fast. Actually, no, I'm going to try that. I'm going to do that again. But without the Asgardian spear, because I feel like that helped a lot as well. So if we just use Hattori's weapons and Mordex's weapons, I remember it took me a little bit longer to do that. So let's see. Yeah, so I'm gonna go back in here because I want I want to show some of Loki's attacks. He's, 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 mainly, he sort of like stands there and like tries to like punch you and stuff like that. But there is one particular attack that I really like that I wanted to show. And hopefully it doesn't die too quickly for this to happen. Darn it, okay. Might as well, I have so many boss keys. Here, all right. There's a there's an area of effect attack that he has where, junior, where a snake or Junior Mingander like pops up from the ground. Kind of like his signatures in the game. Uh, I'll, do, I'll do this one more time to kind of like hopefully like show you essentially uh, while this while this event is live of course you can do it yourself but uh okay let's only do um let's only just only have this one weapon just just Totori's katana here we go so yeah so he he punches and it, it does damage me a little bit oh here we go so yeah, you see that he he does he had a couple of area attacks. Where, as far as I know, that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much all that he kind of like does, and that's the whole event. That's the whole thing. Um, not a lot, I know. Um, it might be a little bit underwhelming, um, and honestly, I didn't really know what to expect from this particular game. I don't see myself sticking to this game necessarily, just because you know it's you kind of 
basically it's, it's, it's sort of like a it's basically a numbers game where you try to have more and more powerful weapons and blah 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 and all of that um i will say though weapon fighting simulator does give you a lot for not spending any money i've spent no money whatsoever and i and these brahalla weapons are insane you see that the only other thing the only other th i have like weapons that do damage in the billions and trillions but these weapons are in like the why whatever it is it is crazy it's like even after playing for several hours and going and I've gotten to like world 30 and these Brawlhalla weapons are still the most powerful ones I have. So if you're at all interested in this game at all, the in, in, in weapon fighting simulator, then this Brawlhalla event will pretty much set you good for a good long while um, through through playing this game. And, you know, it is kind of fun. It's a fun little it's a fun little environment that has a lot of. It's a fun, it, you know, there's lots of fun little environments and things like that. Um, let me see. Uh, so, yeah, so these are all the, all the worlds I was able to get to so far. World 26, okay? So this is what a world looks like, essentially. And you just kind of, like, you click and attack, and then you, you know, if you survive, you get the rewards and things like that, right? And there are, like, larger bosses and stuff. Um, larger bosses over there and the, you know the final boss of the level over there and that, that's pretty much it so anyway i thought that was kind of cool uh, you know again i think the coolest part of this whole event is the fact that you can walk around in demon island with hattori there with mordex there and seeing loki i i think that you know seeing that three dimension 3d roblox interpretation of of brahala characters and um and and uh places is cool to see if nothing else this this is this is the best part of it this right here um just kind of like admiring the scenery admiring demon island um this is the best part for me if you can get past all this sort of like sparkles and all the other like roblox stuff going on here but uh but yeah this is this is neat this is a neat little thing you know um and i wanted to sort of talk a little bit about it and share it with you and I do also appreciate the fact that, you know, for Hattori's sword and for Mordex's scythe, they use the in-game names, which are lore-accurate names. Uh, Katana, obviously a Jap the Japanese word for that, um, for that sword. And Kull being the, is the name of Mordex's scythe, which is, there's a little bit of lore there. Mordex stole that scythe from the Wraith of Darkmoor, um, and it is called Kull. And then just Asgardian Spear, obviously. Um, but yeah. There you go. Just just kind of a neat little thing that, you know, it's it's short and sweet. And uh, I honestly did not regret downloading Roblox just for this. It's kind of nice. So it's kind of, it's kind of fun, kind of delightful. So anyway, thank you very much for checking this out with me, for hearing my take on this fun little Roblox Brawlhalla crossover. And uh, until next time, all the best.